let's do this. We are doing the special tournament suggested by Serenity Spider Monkey, known as Anka's Slumber Party. Now, these are nine duelists in a round robin stage. Um, this is exactly by Serenity Spider Monkey's design. She wanted Anka from Tag Force. Y'all, you guys know Anka. She, <laughs> one thing I learned from her talking with Serenity Spider Monkey about her is apparently she's a teacher in, in Tag Force. I can't remember if it was four or five or maybe, no, no, in six, I think. Uh, Cause you know, she's a teacher. I mean, she's a, a character in the five D's games. Um, Bakora. Now, the thing about this, this is not Yami Bakora. This is regular Bakora. I know y'all have seen, y'all have had enough of Yami Bakora after his terrible performance yesterday. But you're going to see Ryu Bakora, let regular Bakora, his a personal deck I made for him with his cards based off his Duelist Kingdom deck, more not his Battle City deck. We got Blair from GX, Luna from 5Ds, Mayumi, she was a Season 0 character. She was the girl that liked uh, Joey in the Miss Chano episode. Miho, of course, Season 0, everyone knows her. Mokuba, of course. Risa. This is the thing about Risa. Yes, she's the main witch sister. Risa Kageyama and her sisters were the witch sisters that I always use in tournaments from Season 0. They steal the Millennium Puzzle and then they lose to Kaiba, famously. Um, and their triplets. But I'm only using Risa here. Only Risa. As you'll see in the in her avatar picture. And of course Serenity herself. Because wouldn't be a Serenity Spider Monkey themed tournament without the girl herself. So let's get started. There are nine rounds. I'm going to stop about halfway through round five. So I'll probably stop at Miho and Anka. But we are starting with Mayumi and Blair. Who am I going for? Eh, I'll go Serenity or Bakora. Serenity or Bakora, but quite honestly, also Mokuba, because Mokuba is long overdue for any tournament. Honestly, well, none of these characters have ever won a tournament. I think I've had Anka maybe in one or two tournaments. This is Bakora's debut. Uh, Mayumi, also her debut. I think. Okay, Mayumi, that thing is really strong. 49 freaking hundred attack points. That's the strongest Kanon I've ever seen. What, what, oh yeah, that's how you beat it. Well, that was really stupid, my friend. Not sure what you're thinking. That was incredibly stupid. You have no backup plan anymore? No, you should have got rid of Kanan. Whoops, didn't mean to look at that. Yeah, Blair cost herself the duel, probably. You don't have a spell. A waste of Magician of Faith. No, please. Please, no. Are you going to remove it? Yep, probably a better move. Aiden in Love is a spellcaster. That makes perfect sense, actually, that she's a spellcaster. Blair's hanging in there, but just barely. Mayumi is going off. If you guys remember, in the one video I've had Mayumi in, she almost beat Joey. She legit had Joey on the ropes. She took him to a third duel, I think. That's what happened, right? She lost 1-1-1, one, 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 then lost the final one. No, Blair's in trouble. In fact, she, yeah, she lost. Is there, is pretty much almost exactly what she needed. Perfect win from Miss Mayumi. So, of course, as the title says... Uh, Anka invites all her friends because apparently she's older being a professor and all. Ooh, I, somehow. She invites her friends over. For, even though, by the way, it says she's from Domino High School. When I'm going to show you her. It says she's in Domino High School in Tag Force Special. 
So it's very confusing. But anyway, she invites all her friends um, to a slumber party. They pillow fight. They duel. They talk about their love interests. They do all that stuff. All the stuff girls do. Except you're forgetting one thing. Mokuba and Bakura were lugged in there with them. Mokuba and Bakura are boys. They're going to be like, let's just duel. How about that? Uh, uh, none of those other stuff. Oh, please. I don't want to pillow fight. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining Bakora getting hit in the face of the pillow. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Don't do that. And then Yami Bakora has to come out. Well, no. I feel like Risa would be very... The witch the witch sister leader. She would be very uh, aggressive and be trying to destroy them in the pillow fight and duels. But anyway. I, I digress. Let's get going. Luna versus Mokuba. Luna, I feel like, would be... Her and Serenity would be the most docile. Maybe Mayumi, too. So, Serenity, who is your love interest? As they ask her that, she's like, uh... What? Who is it? It's only, like, two people. Is it Duke or Tristan? She's like, well... Wait, what? Which order was it? Dang, I was talking too much, I forgot. Luna and Mokuba, okay. Get it together. Get it together, Animanga. Oh, there's Anka, by the way, but not yet, Anka, not yet. See, look what... Oh, it says... It says other for... I thought she was in Domino. Okay, I'm wrong. I swear I thought I saw her in Domino High. I was wrong. Sorry, guys, I was wrong. Whoops. <laughs> How did I mess that up? Mokubo winning a tournament would be the biggest shock here, because he always struggles. His deck always has a lot, but then it just it gasses out like three fourths into the duel. A similar thing happens with Serenity, except Serenity's Mokuba times three. She can do much better things than Mokuba can do. Case in point, when she's beaten Kaiba like two or three times, and she's she got the quarterfinals of Battle City version 2. Yeah, she's shown off. Crocodilus. Never forget when he played that in Duelist Kingdom. Classic, classic. He honestly looks like a tune in my I've always thought. He looks like a tune type. Oh no, Ancient Forest. No, ho, ho. Floodgate, activate. Come on, Mokuba. You know you don't really run that many equips. Yep, you're going to do it. That's smart. That's smart. That's smart. Mokuba's going to give up all his cards, isn't he? Oh, yes. She'll just keep playing it. It's pretty good. Because you know she won't dare attack. Super War Lion. No, Dust Koala. Precious Dust Koala. Oh, there's the other card he played in Duelist Kingdom. That and Crocodilus were the two cards he played. That's funny, Mogu, I thought that was weak. That's the, that's the card right there. That's the card that uh, made Paradox famous. With when he got 49,000 life points. 49,000 life points. Hey, it's Chemley's waifu card. So he has Rude Kaiser, but yeah. Oh, finally, yes.
All right. So Fairy Wind did not go gentle into that good night. It did take some points with it. Thank you for the 1100. And now, I bet you she'll loop herself. She'll loop herself playing Curry Bond. Oh, wow. Whoa. Take out that Rude Kaiser. Oh, I would have attacked Rude Kaiser. You never know what could happen. Probably smart, yeah, because that's to return to the top of the deck. Oh, actually, that works perfectly. Well, no, no, it doesn't. Because you have to draw first. Dang, Luna's deck is set up perfectly, but remember, she only has 100. She lost. Let's go! Mokuba! Mokuba! Great duel. Really fun duel. Not sure how long this tournament will be, but I think under two hours, probably. Alright, Mokuba does win. Third duel of the first round. Anka versus Risa. The tournament host versus the witch. Reese has been doing really well recently. Somewhat. Well, she lost in the Halloween tournament, but she is in loser's bracket still, so that's not a problem. Anka, you are right there. Next to CM. Her deck is scary. She has a, actually a really powerful deck. I've tested it before before doing this tournament. Very scary. Whoops, no, no, not the fairies. I haven't used them in a tournament in quite a while. Quite a while. My prediction? <sighs> I want Risa to win, but I have a feeling Anka's going to. She has a very strong type of deck. You're about to see what it is. Okay. Great start for Risa. Uh-huh. Solid. Just solid start then. Here comes the pain. Ow. Ow. Plus she has DD Assailant. That is a very scary card. Swords may hold her. Maybe. We'll see if she can hold her off. Oh! Does she have Cosmo Queen? Ah. If she had had Cosmo Queen, that would have been an epic comeback. Okay, that's not a bad one. It's a decent move. Whoops, didn't mean to look at what she had there. Yeah, but the problem is the swords is gone. You gotta start doing something. Oh, by the way, she has triple bottomless trap hole in her deck. Just in case you wanted to know. Yeah, triple halberd, goodbye. That's the duel. Oh, no, no. That's right. Sparta, uh, Witch Doctor of Sparta has great defense. Totally forgot that. Hope you have a second one. No. No, this is not going to This is going to backfire badly. Unless you're aiming for... De oh, wow. That works well with Sparta. Huh. Another tomato. Yeah, smart. Very smart, Risa. Risa Kageyama, everyone. Very smart. And she summons a witch, as she should. And that's 1500 damp burn. Damage burn. Wow. That was a really good move, but how do you stop the triple assault halberd? Uh -huh. Defense is not going to save you. Oh, sandwich. Nice. And which is ability. That's very good. Very good. I'm just a little scared of her face downs. She had a backup. Good. No, deep prison. Ah, get that Adrian card out of here. Get that Adrian card out of here. No. Bull blader is over. 
Ah, oh, she figured it out. It's gonna be tough for anyone to beat Anka this tournament. She's legit powerful. She just had the most perfect setup with that heavy storm. Anka wins. Yeah, Serenity Spider Monkey may have underestimated Anka's power. I, I don't know if you knew how strong her third deck is, but it's very strong. So, Anka slaps Risa with the pillow. <laughs> Risa falls. Next, Bakora. Oh, little innocent Bakora. Versus Miho. The one she had a crush on, although she had a crush on everyone in Season Zero. Don't mind me, I'll just be here in the corner. Little innocent Bakora. I used to call, when I, back in Duelist Kingdom days, I used to call him the play-by-play -play guy of Duelist Kingdom. Because that's what he was, he was like the play-by-play -play guy. Tristan's here, he's like, he's showing up, he butted and he's like, hey, stay away from my girlfriend. Whoops, went too far, didn't I? Hmm, I wouldn't mind either one of them winning, but let's go Bakora. Yes, this is his Duelist Kingdom deck. He gets the Duelist Kingdom one since his evil version gets the Battle City one. The change of heart! <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. His boss. Ladies and gentlemen, the Earl of Demise. I'm sending you to the graveyard. Thun Electric Kid. I must call him Thunder Kid. Oh, shoot. Robin Goblin combo. Yeah, by the way, Bakora is a pretty strong deck, just in case you didn't know. Okay, Electric Kid's ability activates, so you cannot attack. Well, it's going to be destroyed anyway. <laughs> You're toast. Which one? Doma, the angel. Okay, guys, speaking of Halloween, do you know what monster really creeps me out is Doma, the angel of silence? Because of how it was used in the show. You remember? You guys remember how Bakora uses it against Pegasus? Hey, when he was telling his future, and he, then the last card he shows is... This is your future, Doma, the Angel of Silence. And he's like, it's an appropriate card for your future, since I will now silence you forever. That was so creepy. The, and then he's like, prepare yourself, mortal, for a shadow game the likes of which you never played. That stuff. And then he beats him in that <laughs> laser beam duel. Yeah, but Bakor has completely rendered her helpless. She ha can't even have a hand. The more that actually helped her. Unless you're playing on oh, is he playing on winning this turn? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The Lady of Faith. Sweetie summons his Well, it wasn't his favorite card, but it was the card he used to change a heart on. Lady of Faith attack! Oh, and Chain Energy, yeah. You got locked out. Bakora playing like a madman. Bakora. <laughs> Completely owning M Miho. She's probably letting him win because she's such a simp for him. Masterful performance. One of the best performances I've seen in a long while by the AI. The AI really knows how to use his deck, apparently. I was really worried it wouldn't. Okay. And Serenity gets a bye. That ends the first round. Second round. Mayumi versus Luna. Mm -hmm. Mayumi versus Luna.
Whoops, went the wrong way, didn't I? And Yumi is right there. And I'm in luck. We're already in 5D's era territory, so I can do this. Luna's already lost that one to Mokuba. Maybe one one against Blair, so can Luna make a comeback? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. That's terrible. Terrible. That is a strong marauding captain. I'll give you that. Oh, that's why... He, I see. That's why he did it. This is actually a super clever combo. I will admit... I see what you're doing, but the problem is you... I guess it's no problem, since in the end, Mayumi does end up losing monsters, so she's baiting her into attacking. I see your strategy, and it's not truly going to work, except getting rid of her monsters. She'll keep doing it. So she's going to try to beat Paradox's life point record. Oh, well, never mind. It's over. <laughs> she beat herself. She actually had a better chance with that out. You were better with the forest out. There's one of Joey's cards in Warrior. Luna's deck's just too friendly, too helpful, and she hardly ever gets out uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon, so it's kind of hard for her to be competitive sometimes. Say so she'll just, yeah. This is why she's famous for the Paradox Duel. <laughs> she'll always be known for boosting him to astronomical life point records. Ceasefire, you could have at least used it. Oh well. Mayumi probably going to have the life point record here, unless Luna does something crazier. 12,400. I just realized something. Uh, what? Nope, what am I doing? No, 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 no. Yeah, Mayumi won that. What am I doing? Anka versus Blair. I just realized something. Isn't Akka older than them? So she invites all the kids to her place? <laughs> Plus these are different eras anyway. We're just going to say they're the same age just for fun. Anka and Blair. Blair, you are a goner. I don't see how Blair gets out of this. Can't remember where she is, but she's... There she is. Let's go Blair. I want to see her pull the upset. Wonka's deck's so powerful though. Is anyone going to beat her? Maybe Bakora? Bakora, if he gets the right combos, could do it. But the thing with Bakora's Duelist Kingdom deck is it's really strategical and tricky. Ooh, okay, at least you get Pot of Greed back. Ouchie. Have we seen a Mirror Force yet? I don't think we've seen a Mirror Force yet. That's crazy. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. You do have the lock. 
I'm impressed. Oh shoot, you got level six. Okay. I see you, Blair. You know what? That was an amazing move. Well done. Just if you can get by the bull blader, you have a shot. Yep, you did it. You found a way around the bull blader. Dang, and it was it's returned to your deck. I forgot that happens. This is costly, but worth it. She's like, oh, you like to remove monsters? You like, oh, shoot. Gores. She has freaking gores? What a broken deck. She, I forgot she had gores. What the heck? <laughs> Good thing you have Marauding Captain. Or you would be screwed. Yep, you're forgetting they can attack the fa I would stop setting cards. That's really stupid. Blair, you're gonna lose. And that's not a warrior. Oh, shoot. You almost lost right there. This duel's over. That's not a warrior either. Oh, Blair, 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 Blair. No, Blair. That's it. Yep. That's piercing. Shoot. That's piercing. It was defense made him face down. Anka better, but Blair actually had a good thing going until she messed it up. Unfortunate. Dang, man. She had a good thing going. Dang, dang, dang. Okay, Anka wins again. Yeah, Anka is going to be really tough to beat at all this tournament. But really, this tournament is just about fun. And we are going to find a new... By the way, I just... The thing I realized was if Risa wins, it's the same thing as the Witch Sisters would win. So, it's the same thing. Bakora as well. With Yami, Bakora, and Bakora, it would be the same thing. So, Bakora and Mokuba. Hmm, the two boys going at it. We're the only two boys in this whole bloody tournament. Whoops, the core's that way. Let's go, uh, let's go Mokuba. I want to see him pull the upset. Why not? We're just having fun here, guys. Bakora winning wouldn't be terrible. His deck's really OP, so he's going to make Mokuba work for it. I bet you that Duskwala face down. How much you going to bet that's Duskwala? Chumley's wife, your card. Okay, I was wrong. It's not Duskwala. He plays Pegasus's Funny bunny, uh, funny bunny, the dark rabbit. Look, it's even in his text. He's definitely funny bunny. So it's so stupid they never made the tune dark rabbit. One of the cooler tunes. I play just desserts. Give me your funny bunny. <laughs> I'm going to wreak havoc with your, the funny bunny. <laughs> that doesn't. That sounds weird. Chain energy. Remember when he played it on Pegasus's thugs? He was like, don't trifle with me. Dark hole. Wow. Yeah, he doesn't have much attack power. That's Bakora's problem. Mokuba probably even has more attack power than Bakora. Bakora's boss has 2,000. Just think about that. His, his second boss has 1,600. Hmm, that's a lot of... Oof, costs a 1,000 to play one card now. This is, actually isn't helping Bakora. Especially when... Ooh! Okay, everyone played everything. 
wonder what Bakura's other face down was. I want to see. Couldn't tell. It was tough to see. Yep, Bakura on the down on the back foot now. Mokuba legit has a shot. Impressive. Hain Hain. Just use the heck out of that card. Mirror Force on a Hain Hain. That's next level crazy. Mirror Force on a Hain Hain. Anyone ever think you would say that? Mirror Force on a Dark Rabbit makes much more sense. He's too powerful. Oh, the White Magical Hat. Let's go. Of course, bringing out all the Duelist Kingdom classics. It was cool. Well, I didn't like him sending the... Uh, Tristan to the grave, but it was very iconic. That actually, you know what? That worked out pretty good. Yep, smart. Mokuba playing big brain, I, uh, big brain stuff going on right there. Man eat a bug. Dispatch this fool to the graveyard. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just little innocent Bakura. Just ignore me. Wow, he's sudden everything. Oh, he's ran out of monsters. That's it. He beat him. Mogabel wins one. I'm so proud. Well played, my boy. Well played. Pegasus would have been proud with all the dark rabbits she played. Whoops, no, no, what am I doing? Mokuba wins somehow. He's Mokuba's undefeated. Serenity and Risa. Is Serenity the only one who hasn't dueled yet? Yeah. Serenity's the only one that hasn't dueled yet. Let's go, Serenity. Serenity versus Risa. Come on, Serenity. I feel like you can take this tournament. Let us go, let us go. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, Risa, you summon sandwich? Nope, no sandwich this time. Oh, but I'm hungry, get it? <laughs> no sandwich this time. Serenity has nothing? This isn't good. Uh -huh, but you know the witch is gonna come at a cost because she gets what she wants. Yeah, a very good card that you cannot beat right now, my friend. Here it comes. Better have. Something. Okay, that's something. Let's go. Thousand Dragon. Yeah, let's go, sis. This is for you, Joey. Noxious Nostril Gus. Oh, that hurts. Oh man, she lost bottomless. Oh no. Not good. That better be forgiving maiden based down. Eh, it's not bad. This is fine. She's still in she's still doing okay. She's fine. Now things get complicated. 
Uh oh, Serenity. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. <laughs> this is not good. That was a misplay. I would have attacked with the Maiden Macabre first. Wow, she I've never seen Lady Panther's effect used until now. Yep, good. But you know a monster's coming. Prepare yourself. We're gonna need one of your patented comebacks, Serenity. One of your patented comebacks. And we're not gonna see it right now. Oh wow. Are you the following one actually getting buffed? Huh. Nope, wrong attack. Oh, you're so lucky she doesn't have Cosmo Queen. If she had Cosmo Queen, this duel could have been over. And Witch Doctor of Sparta is not helping you either. Her deck master is summoned. Goddess with the uh oh. That's another search. Oh no, no other search? Wow. Yeah, you're gonna need that. Okay, you're not gonna Ooh, Princess of Sarugi. Here she comes. The legendary Saint Joan. Oh freak. Her boss gets tributed for Reese's boss, Cosmo Queen. Oh shoot. Can't okay. Well no, that doesn't beat it. Thousand Dragon doesn't beat it. No. Cosmo twin <laughs> Cosmo Tween. <laughs> Cosmo Tween. Cosmo Queen. Is terrorizing the match now. Okay, that that could be useful. Maybe. Normal ah, uh, like you can afford to lose any more monsters from your hand, uh, deck. You really can't, Serena. You have nothing left. Her points are too high. Sarugi doesn't work. Dark holes used. Thousand Dragon. Smart. Okay, wow, nice. Stop the Magic Cylinder play. You know what? If you ever find a way to get rid of Cosmic Queen, you win. I'll give you, I'll tell you that. That is the truth. Oh shoot, uh oh. What do you I wouldn't keep drawing like that. Oh, this is too unstoppable right now. She's starting to build up steam. Sarugi. Little too late for that. Which of the Black Forest? Actually, wow, survives. Her last bit of strength. She summons St. Joan. Oh, it's such a shame. It's just one under two weeks. With her last bit of strength. Epic boss face off. One is just too strong for the other though. Hmm. That's unfortunate, Serenity. Serenity's giving it her all though. I bet this is your dream duel, isn't it, Serenity Spider Monkey? This is like your dream duel. Probably your two favorite characters going all out against each other.
Double Cosmo Queen. You will survive this turn, though. You have one turn left, Serenity. One turn. You survived all of the onslaught. But, what did you draw? Ah. 39 turns of fun. Or, I should say, 38 turns of fun, but on the 39th, it ends. Hmm. Great duel. Definitely the best duel so far. She just ran out of steam there at the end, didn't she? So, Risa does win one. And Miho's a bye, so we're going to the third round. Mayumi versus Anka. Can anyone be Anka? This is two undefeated duelists. Beyond the Dimensions, a really broken deck. Must admit, very broken. Definitely uh, Anka's, Anka's win in the pillow fight so far. They ask Anka, who's your, who's your crush? She's like, or who's, who was your boyfriend? She's like, oh, you don't want to know. Yeah, you don't want to know who my boyfriend was. She says, it's because it's an inside joke from the Tag Force games, apparently. Uh, it tells who she dated, or gives hints to who she dated. Pestilent, wow, Pestilence works really well against Anka. Sweet. Yeah, it can't attack with Pestilence out. Oh, shoot. Now it can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Then why did you wait? AI misplays. Why did you wait? You could have saved your mid-shield gardener. Mimi on the ropes a little bit, but she's trying to hang in there. Wow, Mayumi ran out of monsters? I didn't... I made sure her deck is full of monsters. Anka kind of clutched there. That was really clutch to stop that Wasteland play. That Warrior Lady Wasteland play. Our deck's just so powerful. Dark hole, but you have no monsters. Oh, what? Ooh. Ah, well, that's fine. That's fine, because it has to be destroyed to activate its effect. Oh, right. No, it is negated, truly. Huh. Oh, no, she just got smacked. And she shows off, summoning Gores, which I can only assume is her boss. Yeah. Anka's nearly unstoppable. She is smacking these girls around. I'm sorry. She's hitting them around with the pillow. Whew. Wow. Anka unbeatable right now. Akora versus Luna. Interesting.
Someone's going to have to duel. It's going to be probably a miracle for someone to even try to beat Anka once. She's probably not going to lose much, if at all, in this tournament. Maybe Bakora has a shot when he duels her. Maybe. Only because he runs like a hand control deck. Nope. Mirror Force. Get wrecked. Oh, I think I'm going to attack. With my morphing jaw. Remove her from this plane. Send her to the Shadow Realm. Give me your fairy archer. He has another morphing jar, or he wouldn't set everything. What you got in there? Oh, a fairy wind, eh? He definitely has the morphing jar face down. Oof, this is gonna hurt bad. So you basically lost your hand. Except one card. Oh no, two cards, sorry. What else are you going to lose? Hmm. Those wouldn't have been really all that useful anyway. Oh, she has no monsters. Wow. Yikes. Wow. Interesting duel. I'm loving this. Okay. Hopefully that's Mirror Force. I think. All he needs to do is attack. He doesn't need to even do anything else other than attack. It was Pixie Ring, which of course you couldn't even use. <sighs> Before too much. Too much. Oh, wait, I don't even know. What am I doing? I don't even know who's dueling next. I was in such a rush. Akora wins. Luna 0-3. I'm so sorry, Luna. Serenity and Blair. I feel like we've seen this before. Neither of them have won. Yet. Someone's going to pick up their first victory. So who so far has been the closest to beating um, Anka? Eh, not Mayumi. She didn't... It's probably... Risa did pretty good against her. Ran out of steam. Ooh, Time Wizard this time. Nice. Oh, that's not... Whoa. That's not nice. Misplay. All you had to do was attack with Shining Angel first. Time magic. Ah, oh, time magic. <laughs> Didn't work. This is gonna... Oh you, oh, you almost lost the duel there. She had another monster. Just craziness. Craziness personified, my friends. So get Dark Hole or Mirror Force or you lose, Serenity. Uh, hopefully it's Mirror Force or Wabaku at least. There it is. There's level four. You seriously don't have anything, Serenity? She doesn't have anything? What on earth? Blair beats Serenity. Perfect win. Wow. I'm a little shocked. 
Huh. Blair beats Serenity. I did not see that coming. I thought Serenity had that. Okay. And Mokuba has a bye. And the final duel of the third round. Sorry. Is Miho and Risa. I'm pretty certain we've seen this. In the Queen of Games tournament. I'm pretty certain, but eh, you never know with me. I, I, I claim to have a good memory. I think I have a good memory, but then I forget a lot of stuff because my brain's fried being on the computer all day. I'm a graphic designer slash now making content for you guys. So being on the computer all these hours, it is kind of tough to keep your memory working 100% all the time. Oh, I hear a ball game in the background ending. I can hear the fireworks. Crazy fish. The mighty crazy fish. Flying fish that attacks with its pointed head. Well, that's kind of what a crazy fish does. Sandwich. The mighty sandwich. Nope. Mio's not, uh, Mio's like, not this time, witch sister. Not this time, I'm beating you. Hiyasube is literally just a kappa from Japanese folklore. It looks just like kappa. Roaring ocean snake. Roaring ocean snake's just messy. <laughs> Oh, she just won. Miho won. Dang, this... Other than Anka being undefeated, this is kind of an unpredictable tournament. Wow. Nice work, Miho. That she's dueled in quite some time. She's had some really bad luck until that moment. So Miho wins her first duel. Everyone has a win except for Serenity. So far. Uh, oh, and Blair. Oh, no, I mean, and uh, Luna. Round four, Mayumi versus Bakora. Actually, they're right next to each other on the list here, so that works out perfectly. Let's go... Eh, let's go Bakora. His Duelist Kingdom deck just intrigues me. It's really strategical. He had like one of the only strategy decks in all of Duelist Kingdom. Most people just had beater decks. With some strategy minimal though. There were a few like Weevil that had a big strategy to it. Then there was others like Keith who were just brute force, brute power. Oh, don't hurt me. Don't hit me. I'm just little innocent Bakora. Morphing jaw, ha <laughs> ha. You fool, you fell for my trick. Dark hole, wow, that fit absolutely perfectly. Just desserts the card he could have beat the Pharaoh with, but. He didn't, he couldn't wait just one more turn for him to summon the fourth monster. He would have done 2,000 damage instead of 1,500. Really foolish of him. Maybe he can make up for it now. Yep, this works out perfectly. Because she'll just crash and then float. 
They all float down here, Bakora. Come on, attack! Ah, the white magical hat. Yeah, not quite enough there. Morphing jar. Oh, he gave a man eater bug for that. Oh, okay. I can dig it. You wanted a new hand, I totally understand. That is definitely the new strongest canon I've seen. Previous was 49, right? Change of hot. <laughs> Probably the smart move in the end. I would have attacked first, though. So. Summons his boss, the Earl of Demise. This gentlemanly figure is extremely wicked. Fear by man and fiend alike. Yeah, with that face. Oh, ghost of a grudge. Ghost of a grudge. No freaking way. Carbonala. Carbonala. Cool. She pulls off a. No way. She beat him. Man, you mean kind of legit. No way. That goes to the grudge. If it hadn't have been stopped, Bakora would have won with it. That heavy storm was clutch from her. He had Ghost of the Grudge ready. Um, oh, by the way, he's like the only person with that card. Yeah, Mayumi still is the one of the only ones with a shot to beat Anka. Um, Serenity and Anka, please Serenity, if you ever need another upset win, this is it. Please Serenity, you can do this. This is your time to shine. Beat the tournament host. Beat her in her own house. Anka, of course, is in this game. Whoops, I went too far in there. We begin. Yeah, her deck's just so solid. The remove from play slash warrior swarm strategy really wor works amazing. It's such an amazing strategy. Ooh, I don't know if I would have give up a ton. Nah. No, 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 no. Serenity, no. I would have never given up Time Wizard for Baby Dragon. Mirror Force. That was the most clutch Mirror Force. Still would have kept Time Wizard, personally. Okay, she's used both her best cards now. She was forced to, but she... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Dark Hall and Mirror Force are gone, too. Good luck surviving this. Too light. Oh, you're not gonna have time for that. No, Surrey. Well, you. I don't even know if you get. No, nah, you don't even get another turn. Okay. Yes, you do get another turn. Wait. No, you don't. Oh, yes, you do. But what could you possibly draw? You use Dark Hole. You use Mirror Force. Your opponent's just too powerful. Okay. Time Wizard would have been the only way out of that. 
And now she does piercing. Wonderful. That card doing piercing makes her a threat. Dang, lost to a token. So, Serenity did try. Anka's just too powerful. Wow, her deck is so good. Remove from play slash warrior is really strong combo. Serenity actually without a win so far. Luna gets a buy, and now Miho and Blair. Hmm. Should be interesting. Let's go. We're already past an hour on this. I did not think that would be the case. I really did not. Miho, getting that wow, Marine Beast. We hardly see this one. All that hard work, all gone, everything. No, you don't get to keep anything, miss, nothing. Hey look, it's Bastion, Bastion's waifu card. Okay, if you can survive that long. The crazy fish. Go crazy fish. That fish is crazy, guys. <laughs> I think Mio is taking control. Definitely. Owner of the Maiden. The Maiden in Love. Are these fishies about to find love? Okay, Roaring Ocean Snake on the level of Dark Magician now. defense man I don't know why you did that that seemed like a dumb move that was a terrible move hmm okay now that roaring ocean sink is blue eyes level and that looks like the duel to me Blair just got smacked. Smacked with a pillow, flew out the window. <laughs> Dang, Blair struggling, but she did win that one duel somehow. I don't know how, but uh, Miho wins there. Risa and Mocha by the last duel of the fourth round. I feel like we've definitely seen this. Haven't we? We've seen this duel. Let's go.
Wow, really good start. Oh my gosh, Risa. Risa going on made me even voice crack. <laughs> mm. So what we, yeah, this is the problem with Mocha, but he just struggles after that. If he can't get going at the beginning, he so struggles. So since you know you set us, no, no, that was, yeah, that was the same gun you set, right, Mokuba? I think that was the same gun he set. Kind of confusing there, because I think the other face down card on Reese's Field is the card Mokuba gave her. No, I was wrong, because it just, I was completely wrong. It was, in fact, Sangan. That was Reese's Sangan. And that's an not enough. Oh wow. 100. One turn to get. Never mind. <laughs> oh wow. Mokuba just gets perfected. Just perfect duel. Risa on fire right now. And that was the card you gave her? Mokuba, I mean, he had no choice, but that's insane. That's crazy, dude. Risa played him like a fiddle. Okay. I don't know how Mokuba had two wins before that, but round five, we're only going to do two duels here. So the first duel of round five, Mayumi and Serenity. Okay, the girl who likes Joey, one of the girls who likes Joey, and Joey's sister. This is to, this is to approve her for Joey, to see if she's ready. Shall we? Shall we? That's a strong DD warrior lady. You know you can still remove it, right? Yep, there it goes. Not worth a dark hole yet. Should save your dark hole, Serenity. What the? What? Axel Force attacking? That is so rare. Axel <laughs> Force attacking is so weird. Please tell me you have the exact fusion in your... No way. Which one? Oh, wow. St. Joan, the best one. You actually had the exact fusion in your hand. Get rid of that exile force. Quickly. Let's go. Okay, but if that one goes away, you lose. Nope. Invader of the Throne did not get to use its ability. It has a very good ability if it can get used. Command Knight. That's one of Joey's cards. She's like, hey, that's my brother's card. Yeah, Serenia's control. I'm impressed. Pretty good. Maybe a backup St. June if you can draw 
forgiving maiden or king of the swamp. A lot of legacy of darkness stuff right here, isn't it? Oof. Okay, battle guard, battle guard howling would have saved me. No, it wouldn't. See ya. Wouldn't want to be St. Joan in this. Over 8,000 win for Serenity. Her first win. I'm proud of her. Well done, Serenity. All right. That means she does not approve you for Joey. I'm sorry, Mayumi. <laughs> and actually, that hurt Mayumi because she was one of the few that could challenge uh, Anka. The last duel of this part one. Miho versus Anka. Can anyone beat Anka? This is it. Can anyone beat Anka? Let's go. I'm rooting for you, Miho. Someone needs to take down Anka. I think Bakora has a good shot at beating her, but he has to duel her first. That'll be in part two. Oof. I admit. Oh, only if you had attack power, you could actually do something. That sucks. Because other than attack power, you... She really has nothing. You got rid of her entire back row. Oh, come on. She's just gonna keep losing monsters, huh? Really nasty luck. No, all these strong monsters going away. A little, oh man, only if you drew seven colored fish after that. Well, well, well. Yikes. <laughs> too much, too much. Piercing. Give me. Wow, her deck just works so beautifully. That's cute. Oh, man. At least out of attacked Halberd. Shoo wee. Psh. Anka, no one's beating Anka. This tournament, no one. Her deck's too powerful. Serenity, did you know her deck was this strong? I did, but I, I knew it at the last second. And I was like, oh, wow. Is anyone even going to beat her? There, I think Bakora has a shot against her, but other than that, I don't know about anyone. So Anka does win five and zero. I don't, I unless she win loses the rest of her duels. I don't think she win. I don't think she has a problem winning. Um. So yeah, we're gonna continue in part two with Risa and Luna. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe on YouTube. The channel's name is Animanga. See you for the next one. Bye.